Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be having a go at renovating this bedside table. Um, and I've never used it before, but I got the Aldi Deco Style Chalk Paint to try in the dove grey colour. Um, I got that along with the clear furniture wax. Um, I also bought a couple of brushes, their brushes, was it when, they, when I was in there, and I thought they looked really good to try. Um, so these were $4.99 each, and I thought that was a really good bargain. So I'm going to have a go at chalk painting um, this bedside table. Um, it does say that you don't really need to sand or prime or anything, but I am actually going to do that. I am going to lightly sand it. Um, along the top all of the surfaces before um, I chalk paint. I do also want to change the knobs, I just don't think they really um, are going to suit the room now, so I'm going to change those out. Other than that, I'm just going to paint it and wax it and then hopefully um, it will have a good result. So we'll see, I will let you know what I think of the chalk paint um, as I go along um, and hopefully you'll have a good before and after. I've finished doing one coat of the chalk paint and my first sort of reflection on it is I like the colour but it does seem quite thin, the paint, even though I've given it a good stir um, and I'm a little bit concerned about the brush strokes because I often use a roller when I'm painting wooden furniture so it feels a bit odd to me that I'm actually using a brush and that I can see brush strokes um, and I don't know whether by using chalk paint whether you know you can't see the brush strokes when you've sort of built up the colour a bit more um, I just noticed a bit Ooh, I don't know I am um, I'm definitely going to do two possibly three coats because I do want a kind of depth of colour and I don't want it to scratch off easily and even though oh, I don't know I don't know I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna await um, sort of judgment on this so I'm gonna do another two coats I'm gonna let that dry it does say on the tin allow an hour between coats but I think I will definitely leave it a little bit longer more like three or four hours this evening and do another coat like before I go to bed and then see how it looks in the morning. The other thing that I haven't done is I haven't painted the bun feet so I took these off so that I could just paint all the sides sort of freely without the bun feet on and to be fair I'm not that keen on them. Um, I mean I could just paint them I didn't do a very good paint job last time. Um, I could just paint them and put them on, but I'm thinking of getting something a bit more modern um, for them to stand, for it to stand on. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna w await judgment on this. Right, I have just finished the second coat, and I'm actually an awful lot happier with it now. I've done the second coat. I can start to see the proper pigment in the colour and I do really like it. Um, I'm already thinking about what other things I can paint with it, but anyway, back to this. Um, I think it's probably gonna need at least one, possibly two more coats just to get the sort of clarity of color all along. Um, so yeah, really happy with it, it dried well. Um, very easy to go on, so yeah. 
I'm going to get on and just um, do a light sand and then paint those draw prints next. Right, it's the next day. I am really happy with the way that the paint looks, but I, I'm not happy with the bun feet um, and putting them back on. I just don't feel that they're very um, modern and anyway, I don't like them, but without them, um, the bedside table is far too low. Um, I'm sorry about the background noise, but my husband um, is just putting up some shelves and he's got the radio on quite loud. Um, and so what I've decided to do is make um, some legs for it. Now this is going to be a little bit of a interesting DIY. I've marked out some wood. Um, I'm going to make, I'm going to cut those feet. Um, and then I've got some dowel screw, screws to put them in. So this will be an interesting DIY journey um, to add some little sort of more modern looking legs to the bedside table just to bring it up um, by about 10 centimetres. So that's the next job. First I marked the centre of each leg and then I drilled a hole in the centre. I then inserted a dowel screw using a pair of combination pliers to twist into the wood. I then screwed the legs into pilot holes I had pre-drilled into the base of the bedside table. Once I had screwed them all on, I painted them with the chalk paint. I gave them about three coats. Once the whole bedside table had, had three coats of chalk paint, I moved on to apply the furniture wax. I used a sash brush to apply the wax. I did two coats of the wax and then I gently buffed it with a cloth after about 15 minutes. I then added some bronze vintage cup drawer handles to each drawer. Finally, I applied three coats of dark oak satin varnish to the top. I am very pleased with the final result with this bedside table. I think it's really beautiful and my son loves it for his room. All in all, I would recommend the chalk paint, but I'll see how long lasting it is over the next few weeks and months. So here is a before and after shot of the bedside table. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, then please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.